A moment of silence for the Stegosaurus, the Brontosaurus, the Tyrannosaurus, the Triceratops, for the woolly mammoth, for the giant elk, for the passenger pigeon, for the dodo. A moment of silence for the Siberian tiger, the Sumatran rhino, the mountain gorilla, the Iberian lynx. A moment of silence for the bee. Take a moment to recall the soft fuzz of black and yellow, the rapid beating wings, the buzzing mingle with a child's squeals as bees swarmed round a fallen ice cream cone on an August day. A moment of silence for innocence. A moment of silence, please, for the intricate structure of honeycomb, the interconnections of nature, that sweet sacred dance between nectar and pollinator. A moment of silence for the flowers. Do you remember flowers, roses, and buttercups, lilies, spring bluebells on a woodland walk? Remember those moments of silence on woodland walks when we tuned into birdsong? Do you remember birdsong? A moment of silence for the birds, the chaffinch, the magpie, the swallow, the starling. The robin. A moment of silence. For the lion, the elephant, the antelope, the buffalo, the chimpanzee. Remember hippos wallowing at watering holes, the mating display of flamingos. Remember our own mating dance, and coloured lights fluttered around us like a peacock's tail. Remember pubs and clubs, music and art, museums and galleries. Temples, churches, universities. Remember libraries. Those places we go for a moment of silence from our busy lives. Remember when we craved a moment of silence from our busy lives. Remember our busy lives. When jobs to pay mortgages seemed so important, when there was water to drink and air to breathe. Remember how we used to breathe. A moment of silence for the trees. A texture of bark. Dappled patterns in the undergrowth as sun shimmied through the canopy. Do you remember when trees grew wild? Before they were fenced off under armed guard for our own protection in a last attempt to save us. Remember when there was still a chance to change our behaviour. Recall the way we kept on burning oil. A moment of silence. For soil. Recall the way it crumbled at the touch before it thinned like an ageing man's hair. Remember combing the remnants of topsoil into desperate piles in a futile attempt to encourage crops to grow. Remember mud squelching between your toes, that rich chocolate brown. Remember chocolate. A moment of silence for cocoa, for coffee, for broccoli, for rice, for wheat, for pizza, for cat food. A moment of silence for the cat. A moment of silence for the maps that had to be redrawn when the ice caps melted, the coastlines flooded, when islands were submerged. A moment of silence for the Philippines, for Samoa, for Fiji, for Tuvalu, the Maldives, for the eight million Egyptians who lost their lives when the sea level rose by one metre, by the 17.5 million in Shanghai, the 300 million worldwide. There was a time when I'd give anything for a moment of silence in the eye of a tropical storm. Just one moment of silence from hurricanes, cyclones, wildfires, landslides, famines and floods and rising death tolls. A moment of silence for the people. Nicaragua, Senegal, Sudan, Sierra Leone, Bangladesh, Florida, Spain. Remember the connections we made. The nights when we talked till 5 a.m moments that we shared in silence. Remember laughter, a child climbing up your back, giggling as you hoist him over your shoulder and tickle him on your lap. Remember our capacity to love, how we still found a way to love even when our world was dying. A moment of silence for the whole of South America. Australia, Africa, 
Asia, North America, Europe. Silence in the empty factories, empty office blocks, empty hospitals, empty cinemas, empty schools. Empty playgrounds where the silence lasts much longer than a moment.